How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? Now, here's my blog again. As you all know, the war in Israel is still carrying on and it's vicious and violent, and people are getting killed every day. And unfortunately, a lot of uh, Palestinian children have been killed and maimed, and it's been in the headlines all the time that the, that the Jews and the Israelis are destroying women's and children's lives every day. That's all you read is about how we're killing innocent people. You never read one word about the simple fact that these children and women are being shields. They use their shields for these murderers. If I'm a murderer and I'm holding a child in front of me, I keep shooting at you. What are you supposed to do? How many people are supposed to die before you have a right to shoot back? <laughs> I'm not the murderer. You're the murderer for holding the child in front of your face while you're shooting at people. You're killing that child. I'm not killing that child. You are. Because are you supposed to have the right to kill 100,000 people before I have a right to shoot back? Hamas is targeting deliberately kindergartens and school and citizens and civilians because this is according to their values. Our values are completely different. We are trying to target Hamas, which hides among civilians. And nobody calls the Hamas the murderers. The Hamas are called a terrorist organization by every international organization, by every European country, by every, every democracy in the world is called the Hamas organization, a terrorist organization. And still to this day, they refuse the right of Israel to fight back while they're being ringed on with bombs every single day. Five years of 650,000 rockets have fallen on Israel's lives and they're hiding from bombs every minute, every day, and they're still blaming Israel. And they can't stop blaming Israel. 31% of the Democrats, 31% blame Israel for what this war and are against the idea of Israel defending themselves with this invasion. In other words, they're saying that if you're a Jew, you should be killed and you shouldn't accept it, you should accept it, you should have no right to complain about it because that's your fate and that's what your right is in life. That's your obligation in life, to die anytime somebody who's a mass murderer wants to kill you. Would you accept that life for yourself? Why do you accept that for Jews? Because deep in your heart, you're an anti-Semite and everybody who thinks that way is an anti-Semite. And among these anti-Semites is the whole liberal organization that represents the Democratic Party. They like to feel they're concerned about the underdogs, like they're hopeless, the victims. And they have decided that the Hamas, which are the mass murderers, are really the victims. And the Israel was doing nothing. They gave them back the whole Gaza against the protest of the Jews themselves. Jews were protesting and screaming and cursing and pleading, and they were attacking their own soldiers in Israel not to give back the Gaza. But they gave it back anyway because they were trying to buy peace by giving them a whole land back. And what did they do as soon as they got it back? Started killing Jews again. And the Democrats, who are the liberals of this country, still like to convince themselves they're humanitarians because the Jews to them are the belligerent attackers, the killers and the murderers. They perverted reality. They ran it upside down because they love to believe and convince themselves. And even the Jews are among them. Even the Jews among them who are guilty and sick Jews are just as sick as the anti-Semites who want to convince themselves that after all the Jews are doing too good so they must be the murderers. The Jews are having a comfortable life so they must be the killers. After all the Palestinians are struggling and suffering so they must be innocent. How come the other countries of all that area have threw the Palestinians out of Jordan, they threw them out of Saudi Arabia, they threw them out of every country where they could be living in peace with them and they could have their whole country back. But nobody accepts the Palestinians back in every part of the Arab countries. But still they just belong in, the, in Israel and their only choice is to demand the right to be in Israel, to destroy Israel and to kill everybody in Israel, to have land that they don't belong to. That's none of their business to have in the first place. Israel offered it to them, here it is, for nothing. 
But it's no good. They just hate Israel. They're determined to destroy it. And no matter what you do for them, their answer is to keep killing Jews. And the Democrat Party liberals are just as sick as any anti-Semite. And then the Jews among them who believe just like them are also murderers and killers. Because all they believe is that they have to prove to themselves that they're caring, they're loving people. Jews are guilt-ridden, sick idiots. And they're just as sick as an anti-Semite because they can't feel comfortable unless they're catering to the underdog. And they convince themselves the Palestinians are the underdogs. And the Jews themselves became haters of their own people because they don't feel the right for a Jew to exist unless he's helping an underdog. And all of a sudden, the Jews are not the underdogs. They're getting killed for nothing. But they're not the underdogs. No matter how many Jews die, they deserve to be victims because the Jews are the murderers. How did they convert reality upside down and make the Jews who are the constant victims into the murderers? What is wrong and how sick are these people to believe it? The liberals are perverted and the Jewish people who agree with them are sick and insane and it's about time they realize that they're perverted, deranged maniacs. And they themselves are the haters and the killers of innocent people, of their own Jews. That's what happens in this country. It's a pathetic, horrible explanation for unbelievably sick people.